principal lesson this afternoon for the installation of Reverend Todd Hayes comes from Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 to 13. If then there is any encouragement in Christ, any consolation from love, any sharing in the Spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not into your own interests, but to the interests of, of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Therefore, my beloved, just as you have always obeyed me, not only in my presence, but much more now in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who is at work in you, enabling you both to work for his good pleasure. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 21, 28 to 32 and 43. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus says, What do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not. But later he changed his mind and he went. The father went to the second and said the same. And he answered, I go, sir, but he did not go. Which of the two did the, did the will of his father? They said, the first. Jesus said to them, truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him. And even after you sought, you did not change your minds and believe him. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please remain standing as we sing our sermon. 